This is already a PR disaster. If the woods is exposed, we all have a big, potentially fatal problem. Gen V has stormed on our screens and has been received pretty well by boys fans and critics alike. And it's an interesting aspect to the boys world we already know and love. But it's got a few mysteries going on in this show. Namely, what's God you, Dean Shetty and Vought up to in the basement or the woods? At the moment, we've only seen this from Luke's point of view, but as always, I've got a few theories and few ideas. So let's go over them, but before that, just to say thanks for taking the time to choose to watch this channel. I really appreciate it, and if you haven't done it already, please hit the subscribe and the like button if you make it all the way to the end of the video. So what exactly is going on in this show? Well, in the first few episodes, they set up the woods as the big bad mystery. Now, we've seen a few people being experimented on in the boys before. Parents agreeing to inject their kids with V for the hopes of powers and a better future, the Russians experimenting on Soldier Boy to find a weakness, and Butcher using Temp V to up his game. So what exactly is going on here? Well, as you've guessed, I've probably got a few ideas. We know next to nothing actually, but I think Ashley's statement drops a few hints. PR disaster. If the woods is exposed, we all have a big, potentially fatal problem. She says it's a potentially fatal problem, so that means if it comes out, some or all involved would be at high risk. But from what exactly? Well, I think the answer is other soups, and let me explain, because I think they're trying to remove or transfer powers in the woods. We know Luke seemingly has mental health issues making him unstable. From what we've seen so far, Luke has some mental health issues making him unstable, so you can understand why you wouldn't want or risk someone like that having the ability where they can cause mass damage and death and wreak havoc on a pretty huge level. We've also seen Luke kill once already as well. Plus, as we know, or at least if you've watched The Boys you would know, Vault is all about control. So to me at least, it makes sense that they're working on how to remove V and abilities from people's bodies. In the last season of The Boys, we've seen that Soldier Boy could, as Homelander put it, burn V out of Sip's bodies. So I think they must be working on something along those lines. Or maybe they're trying to work out how to transfer an ability from one person to another. If you ever watched the TV show Heroes, there was a character in that called Peter Petrelli, who seemingly didn't have a power unless he was around other people with abilities, and he was able to absorb and use them without taking the power from them. And this level of control would also fall but into the frame of things that would greatly benefit Vought and give them more control over V and the Soups. So the threat that Ashley's worried about is probably Homelander and the other soups, as I can't imagine that that guy would take too kindly to being powerless or even the threat of something like this existing. While some soups in the boys' world might wish to be rid of their powers, like say Luke or Emma, I can't see this being true with everyone else. It's already been established that Vought sees the soups as sort of their property as V comes from them, so being able to select who gets what power definitely falls into something that they'd love to have. As, at the moment, in this world, it's sort of Russian roulette who gets what ability and how successful each soup is, which leads to a lot of mistakes, cover-ups, death, you know what happens. If they have the power to remove a soup's ability at will, this guarantees control over them, for all the fame and fortune that the person might lose. It also might be the case that they're trying to suppress abilities and those that they see as problematic and can't control, such as Luke. Like, say, a pill or injection that just makes us suit normal, sort of similar to how a diabetic works in real life. We haven't heard Luke talk about exactly what they were doing to him in the woods yet, so there's quite a few gaps here that need to get filled in. There's also a slight hint that a familiar face might have been through all this as well, as if you pay attention to the walls in the woods or in the basement, the cartoons that Black Noir spoke to in Season 3 look similar to the animals that are featured in the woods, and we found out in Season 3 that Black Noir did cause injuries when he was a kid as he couldn't control his powers. So maybe he was an early guest there, as God Yu has been about for over 50 years. 
It might also be that they're trying to enhance the superheroes' abilities, but I highly doubt that's the case, as people at Homelander are already problematic and uncontrollable by Vought. So I really do think that this is some sort of way to depower or sort of put a harness on them, so to speak. Because one thing that we know in this world is an out-of-control soup is a problem for Vought, as much as it's a problem for the public at large. And Vought is all about its image and its business, so yeah, I really think that they're either trying to suppress or remove or transfer the abilities from one person to another. But what do you guys think? We've not got a lot of information, as I've said, of what's going on here already, so this is all just a theory, and you know that I do love my theory videos. But as always, I want to hear what you guys think, so let me know in the comments below. What do you think's going on in the woods? What do you think Vought's major plan is? And what do you think the end goal in all this will be in Gen V? I think this show is setting up a really interesting mystery and there's a lot more to come. Especially with regards to Justine, I think she's going to be heavily more involved than we think. And also there's that sort of time jump blackout ending that we had in episode 4 as well that they still need to explain. We also know that people like Polarity, or I should say Polarity Senior, are involved in this. So it does mean that some soups at least are aware of this. And when it comes to Andre's dad, the Senior Polarity, or the ex polarity I should say. We've not seen him use his abilities in the show yet and we don't really know much about his superhero past. So I wonder was he an early victim of the woods as well and how many X soups could be out there? But as I said, let me know what you think in the comments below, or you can reach out to me on Twitter at The Geeks Reviews. I really think this show has a lot of potential, but it all depends if this mystery is going to pay off or not. Given the amount of episodes that we've got left in the first season of Generation V, I think it's probably going to be a cliffhanger ending as opposed to a resolution, but who knows, as always we're going to have to wait and see, and as always, my name's Al, thanks for watching.